Hey Team Acura, this is it. The new 2024 Acura Integra Type S. I'm Jonathan Rivers with Acura Product Planning, and I'm here to give you a complete deep dive on the exterior design of this amazing vehicle. All right, let's jump into this. The 2024 Acura Integra Type S. Just look at it. It's truly an amazing design but everything that was changed was done to not only enhance that design, but enhance performance. So everything that you see is actually functional as well. All of the sheet metal from the A-pillar Ford is all new, including this incredible hood design. And there's actually a vented design here, and that's done for two things. One, to help with cooling performance, but also to help with downforce and aerodynamics as that played a key role in the development of this new Integra. Now, as we look further down below, you'll see this exclusive front fascia for the Type S with our signature open pour design for the Diamond Pentagon grille. But what's unique is it's actually a two-piece design. Behind that grille is a cooling shroud, which again helps to direct that cold air up through the grille and even through the vent in that hood. Further below that, you'll see the opening for the front mount intercooler, as this is a high performance turbocharged engine. And to the side, you might be able to find there's brake ducts hidden away, which carry that cold air and help to cool the brakes, which we'll get to shortly. And lastly, next to that, you'll see these massive air intakes. And if you look closely behind them are three canards, like a race car, that help to direct the air from the front of the vehicle to the side. So let's take a look here, and you're gonna see these massive fender flares, which houses this massive wheel and tire package. It's a 265 width Michelin Pilot Sport 4S summer tire, and they're wrapped around amazing looking NSX inspired wheels, 19 inches in size. Behind that, you're gonna notice the red Acura Brembo four piston caliper connected to a floating disc and a two-piece rotor design. Great for on-street performance and track performance as well. As we carry our way down the side of the vehicle, you'll see things like the signature Type S badging, gloss black elements throughout, and even an extended side sill due to that large and wide body. But you may look up top and notice and say, hey, there's no moonroof. Well, again, that was done on purpose to help lower the weight of the vehicle and also bring down the center of gravity of the car as well. Now let's take a look at the rear of the vehicle, my favorite angle. Here at the rear of the Integra Type S, you'll still notice the very pronounced rear fenders, which integrate into this exclusive rear fascia design. Now down below, you'll see this gloss black aggressive rear diffuser, which looks like it came straight from a race car but it's actually functional as well, helping with aerodynamics and downforce in conjunction with this rear gloss black deck lid spoiler. Also down below, you'll see the signature triple exhaust outlets with the center port housing an active exhaust valve that opens and closes depending on the drive mode. And it truly sounds amazing. Now, just like the standard Integra, we still have our liftback design, which gives Integra Type S class leading cargo space and usability. Together with this performance, it's truly in a class of its own. Here it is. This is what Integra Type S is all about. It's engine. Now, this two liter VTEC turbocharged engine truly is something special. And the moment you open up your hood and you look inside, you're gonna see that bright red engine cover. And that's important for a lot of things. One, it harkens back to previous high performance Integras of the past, but it's also a direct connection to the NSX Type S. Now, it's a matte red, unlike the gloss red on NSX, but the idea was to carry over that level of Type S performance down into the Integra, and it truly delivers on that. Now we're talking about 320 horsepower at 6,500 RPM, as well as 310 pound-feet of torque. Now that's as low as 2,600 RPM, but it shoots all the way to 4,000 RPM. And why is that important? Well, it gives you this great mid-range torque, which is really where all of the usable power is, whether you're driving on the city streets or hitting your favorite back road. 
it truly gives Type S level performance under all driving conditions. Now, this engine is mated to an exclusive six-speed manual transmission with limited slip differential, and it is a joy to drive. A lot of that has to do with the fact that we also have a rev match system built in. And again, for those that like to heel and tow and drive themselves, of course, it's user selectable so you can deactivate it at any time. I personally like to leave it on because not only does it make me a better driver, but it gives me the confidence as I'm powering through the turns. Now, from there, we look back all the way to the exhaust. Integra Type S is really about emotional sound, and there's a high-performance exhaust system with triple exhaust outlets out back. Included with that is an active exhaust valve, and that is essentially a flap inside the exhaust that can change given the drive mode to really allow a lot of emotional sounds, those you know, famous pops, bangs, and crackles that you might be familiar with under a lot of different driving modes. So that's something we really can't wait for you to hear for yourself. Now looking down below behind the front fascia, you might see that massive front mount intercooler, which is of course important because that brings all that cold air up through the intake to the turbocharger to provide maximum performance, which is what Integra Type S is all about. So here we are with the wheel taken off. This is where you can see all the incredible engineering and technology of the chassis, suspension, and braking system of the Integra Type S. So let's first talk about the brakes. Massive rotors here, paired together with our Acura four-piston Brembo calipers, which has really become a signature technology for Acura Type S levels of performance. You'll find that same type of system on the TLX, MDX, and even NSX Type S models. Now on Integra Type S, it truly is like a race car setup with a floating two-piece disc, which allows for maximum braking performance and minimal brake fade. Also, you'll see here, we have a front suspension technology that's new for Integra Type S. It's called our dual access front suspension. Now what that does is it prevents any kind of torque steer or wheel hop under aggressive driving and launches. And this is all possible due to high rigidity components being installed like the tie rod, front knuckle, and lower arm that you see here. Behind this brake, you might even see a air guide. Now, aerodynamics played a critical part in the development of Integra Type S, as every component is truly functional. So let's take a look here. In the front fascia of Integra Type S, we have brake ducting. And what that does is that allows the air to come into the front of the vehicle, come through this duct. You might see this circular port here, that channels the air to the guide and gets directly to the brake to minimize heat and also improve braking performance. You'll also notice from the front fascia, there's three canards hidden behind the massive air intakes, and that channels out of this port here, allowing the air to flow along the vehicle and underneath as well. Aerodynamics is truly critical, and it also impacts the overall downforce of the vehicle as well. So next, we're gonna go ahead and get underneath the Integra Type S, and you'll get to see that total airflow management system in play. And here we are underneath the Integra Type S, which is admittedly a pretty cool place to be because not everybody gets a chance to have the vehicle hoisted up like this and really see all of the amazing engineering underneath the vehicle. Now, what's really cool is the engineers from Acura really prioritize airflow management underneath the vehicle. You can see that there's a lot of elements that would normally be exposed that are covered underneath the vehicle from the front all the way to the rear. That's gonna help with not only airflow management, but downforce, and there's even benefits to things like fuel economy. As we continue to make our way to the rear of the vehicle, you start to see some of the chassis and suspension components, and just these massive tires. I mean, when you're underneath the vehicle, you really get to see the width of these 265 Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. They look awesome. And as we continue our way under, you can start to see more of the suspension. And so what's great about Integra Type S is there's an adaptive suspension as standard equipment. And you can see here, there's actually a solenoid attached to it that allows the suspension to either soften or firm up given the drive mode that you're in. And Integra Type S has four unique drive modes, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, which is exclusive to Type S, and Individual Mode, which allows you to customize each of your settings 
for that best driver combination. Now lastly, as we get to the end of the vehicle, you see the rear diffuser here that completes the airflow management. And for me, I think my favorite part is this high performance exhaust system, which is very straight from front to rear to minimize back pressure and allow maximum performance. And it all ends here with this triple exhaust and these four inch chrome finishers. And on this center port of the exhaust, there's an active exhaust valve, which is essentially a flap inside that can open and close given the throttle position and also the drive mode that you're in to bring this emotional sound that only Integra Type S has. Inside the new Integra Type S, you'll immediately notice it's truly a performance sedan. The Acura engineers completely overhauled the chassis and suspension compared to the top trim Integra. It has upgraded front and rear suspension, braking technology, and all of that was done to improve overall driving dynamics and cornering performance. They also looked at ways to reduce weight. In the Integra Type S, we removed the rear center seat and also the moonroof. We did that not only to reduce weight, but to also lower the center gravity of the vehicle to help with that cornering performance. Now, as soon as you sit inside, you'll notice these really nicely bolstered sport seats that are exclusive to Type S. They have ultra suede inserts and Type S embossed in the headrest. And as you grab this fantastic steering wheel, you'll notice the perforation and the exclusive Type S badging. And with it being a six-speed manual transmission, you'll notice that it has very close gear ratios, very good shifting, and very fast rev matching. In the Type S, it has an exclusive shift knob, shift boot, and Type S even embossed here in this aluminum plaque. Now next to that, you'll notice your controls for the dynamic modes. There's four drive modes in Integra Type S. You have Comfort, Sport, and a Type S exclusive Sport Plus. Now, of course, you can go into individual mode as well and customize the settings to your liking. But when you're in Sport Plus mode, you're gonna notice things throughout the interior that change, such as the standard 10.2 inch digital instrument cluster. There you'll notice yellow needles, performance gauges, really gives you that enhanced Type S levels of performance right in front of you. And as you look up further, you'll even notice we have a head up display as well. Now in the center, we have a nine inch color touchscreen with wireless CarPlay and Android Auto and a place here for your phone that's also a wireless charging pad. And if you're like me and you love audio, wait till you hear the 16 speaker ELS Studio premium audio system. Integra Type S truly is the ultimate package of premium performance, materials, and technology. In the Integra Type S, there are four distinct drive modes. There's Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Individual. Let me walk you through on what each of those driver modes offers and how they change by using this switch here that's called Dynamic Mode. In Comfort Mode, you have a change in the suspension, which becomes much more supple and soft. You have a change in the steering, which becomes a little bit lighter in feel as well as throttle response, where it dials it back and makes it a great driving experience in the city. Now up in sport mode, this is kind of the default setting, and it's a perfect balance of that daily comfort with a little bit of aggressive sport driving. The steering firms up, as does the suspension, and you get a little bit sharper throttle response. Now exclusive to Type S, we have Sport Plus, and this is what really amps things up. It gives you heavier steering, stiffer suspension, and a very, very fast throttle response with also very fast rev matching for the six-speed manual transmission. Now, of course, you can select individual mode by pushing this button and then pushing it again to customize four different key settings, your engine, steering, suspension, as well as the colors of the digital instrument cluster gauges. It's very easy to set and customize to your preferred driver setting. In the Integra Type S, you get a 10.2 inch digital instrument cluster as standard equipment. It's fully customizable with loads of information. Now on the left side, you can control all of your audio and on the right side, all of your advanced driver assistive safety technologies. With it being a Type S performance model, 
Acura Engineers built-in three performance gauges. You get a turbo boost gauge. You also get gauges for accelerating and braking pressure. And finally, you get a G meter that shows acceleration, deceleration, and lateral G. And here's a cool feature. With a push of either the active cruise control button or the lane keeping assist button on the steering wheel, it changes the digital instrument cluster and brings an Integra Type S icon in the center that shows all your advanced driver assistive safety technology right in front of you, including vehicles that come up near you and other objects as well, which is essentially a flap inside that can open and close given the throttle position and also the drive mode that you're in to bring this emotional sound.